Hi, every, everybody, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. So, yeah. uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, okay. Welcome to uh, joining us for the webinar of the yes. uh, APH mm -hmm. and uh, MWIS. So, uh, I'm uh, Dr. Olalik Musikwong from Thailand. Today, I'm a uh, chairman of uh, this webinar and my co chair. Dr. Lily will come later. So yeah. uh, it's, don't, don't worry, we will uh, start uh, the webinar from now, don't worry. So I would like to uh, prof uh, introduce uh, Professor Zhang Lian. He is the director of the Haifu uh, Hospital. Uh, Professor Zhang Lian, so please uh, over to you. Thank you, Larik. And uh, dear my friends, Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm very glad to have the chance to meet you here. And we are glad uh, to say that the COVID-19 pandemic is better controlled with the increasing rate of vaccination and other measures taking. We are already seeing the light at the end of the tunnels. So last year, we have organized eight webinars and one international Women's Day event. These webinars focus on laparoscopic technology and high food to solve problems in the management of gynecological diseases, malignant tumors, improvement of the health of African women, and also fertility preservation. And the International Women's Day event collected 128 hospitals globally to perform high full ablation for 128 patients on that day as a public benefit activity. The International Society of Minimal Invasive and Virtual Surgery worked jointly with the International Journal of Hyperthermia last year to publish the first HIFO special issue in August. The 14 articles in this special issue cover common subjects such as high ablation for uterine fibroids, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, and some newly expanded indications such as dysmoid dismo tumors, recurring ovarian cancer. A meta-analysis compared the effect efficacy of high food, UAE, and malmectomy on uterine fibroids, and also Bakri from Singapore shared Asia, Asia per perspective on high food. So experts from UK, Germany, Spain, Singapore, and also in China were shared this experience in these articles. Unfortunately, we have to postpone the biannual meeting of Young's International Summit of Minimal Invasive and Non-Invasive Medicine together with the board member meeting for another year. However, our academic discussion will, will be continued for online webinars. Please follow us to know our latest webinars. We are happy to announce that we, we have decided not to postpone our training workshop on HIFU for another year. Instead, we will change the training site from Plavin, Bulgaria to Malacca. So <clears throat> to make it happen in November 2022, this, I mean this year, for doctors who are interested in this workshop, please contact our secretariat. Knowledge is infinite and there is no end for learning. Even if we are facing a lot of challenges, 
the International Society of Minimal Invasive and Virtual Surgery will continue the learning and deliver our ideology together with the new knowledge to our colleagues. Thank you very much and good night. Good night.